damage to the heart is immense when the water that is needed is not there in the system. Everybody is carrying a bottle and sipping continuously because uh, the marketing machines have done this to them. Excessive consumption of water, especially if it's done in small sips, will lead to swelling of the brain. At the same time, when you need water, if you don't drink, it'll cause damage to the system. It is not just about drinking liquid water, you must eat high water content foods. If you don't feel thirsty, if you don't drink water, nothing is going to happen, you're going to be fine. It's only in America, in cold climate, everybody is carrying a bottle and sipping continuously because uh, the marketing machines have done this to them that they must drink lots of water. Excessive consumption of water, especially if it's done in small sips, body absorbs, when it absorbs the sodium levels, which are very uh, delicately balanced, will drop. The rest of the body also is affected but may not be so noticeable but in the brain, sodium levels dropping will lead to swelling of the brain. This does not mean your brain is growing. It means… swelling means it's a kind of sickness, okay? Not expansion of the brain, it's swelling up because of lack of sodium content. So because there's not enough sodium, more water goes into the brain, trying to supply the required sodium to keep the balance. So more water in your brain means you will slosh. Psychological imbalances will come when… when you manage to absorb. See, if you drink lots of water at one go, body will decide how much to absorb, how much to throw out. But if you keep sipping through the day, body kind of gets deceived and tends to absorb more water than it should. But let's say right now you drink two liters of water, all of it is not going to go into the system. What is needed, it'll take, rest of it will be shunted out. <clears throat> so, uh, not consuming water and being out there is very much a possibility. Nobody need to drink water simply because you think it's a good thing to do. When you feel thirsty, you must drink water just to ensure you're drinking enough, drink ten percent more than what you actually need, a couple of cups more, just to ensure that you don't drink less. If you're not the kind who is uh, carrying a water bottle with you every minute of the day, then it's good to drink little extra water so that when the need comes, you have a certain amount of time before you can drink, that it's not an emergency. At the same time, when you need water, when you're thirsty if you don't drink, it'll cause damage to the system. I would say, this may be very controversial, the medical fraternity will for sure protest on this, but uh, they will come to it after maybe twenty years or thirty years. <laughs> I would say if everybody consumes good water in sufficient quantity, fifty percent of the heart attacks in the world would come down. The damage to the heart is immense when the water that is needed is not there in the system.